Hello again guys and girls, um, how are we doing? We are doing fine, um, once again, beautiful weather outside and we can't quite enjoy it, which is a bit of a nightmare. Um, what else to say, we've pretty much finished Netflix, um, we've uh, decided that uh, with Netflix almost over, we're going to start to try and conquer Pornhub instead. That's our new uh, uh, target. <laughs> um, okay, so what are we going to do today? I'm going to cook um, osobuko. Mmm. Mm. And I was actually quite surprised because it's really good quality and we found it at a very reasonable price. For how much? Much cheaper. I think it was 170 so about six pounds a kilo. I don't know how much it is in the UK and the rest of Europe, but here it's very cheap and uh, and, and very good quality. So, uh, osobuco is uh, the Italian name for it's like a, a cut of beef shin that goes through this part of the muscles. Excuse my sandals. And sorry, <laughs> sandals. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Hey ho. You're on trend. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so. We, osobuco is normally done and it's like braised very slowly for uh, uh, three, four hours normally at about 150 degrees. We have our oven preheated already at mm -hmm. 150. Our pan is hot already. Um, and normally it's served with, so very slow cooked um, till the meat becomes nice and soft. And normally it's served uh, very simple, like uh, with like uh, uh, a red wine sauce and then a... And red wine in a glass. And a saffron risotto. It's very classical, a uh, bit of parmesan, etc. It's very classical Italian. We're going to change it up today and uh, I'm going to do mine in kind of a uh, Korean spiced uh, way. And then we're going to serve it, rather than do a risotto, uh, we're going to do a egg fried rice. So uh, I think it's uh, uh, a much more interesting flavor profile. So let's start cooking. What do we have here? Okay, so we've got um, a little of our uh, lovely chicken stock, as Korean you can see. Bouillon. Uh, we've got uh, onions, cut in large pieces, three of them. Three luka parezanek. One and a half sticks of celery. Полтора стручка celery. Celery stable. Two small carrots. Две небольшие морковки. And we've got uh, salt. Соль. Brown sugar. Тростниковый сахар. Demerara. Uh, we've got uh, some fish sauce. Fish sauce. About, about one spoon, we'll figure it out later how much it is exactly. Some uh, soy sauce, soy sauce. Soy sauce. I don't know. We don't, we don't, we, our scales broke today, so we don't have a battery in them, so we're just doing everything by eye. Um, and we'll, we'll weigh everything out in spoons later. Some uh, rice wine vinegar, tomato paste. Рисовый вино уксус, томатный Спасибо. Пожалуйста. Uh, we've got uh, half a fresh chili. Половина чили перца. One, two, three, four, five, six cloves of uh, Шесть fresh. Шесть головок чеснока, не головок. New season, Лучика. new season garlic. Mm. Mm. Don't do this. It's I very, hate this smell. <laughs> it's very, it's very good. Uh, about, I'm going to guess about a hundred grams, seventy-five grams of ginger. And a little bit Imbira. of uh, coriander. Kinza. 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 Uh, yes, uh, a little bit of powdered uh, cinnamon. Gvazdika. Uh, and no, this. Molotoy. I forgot. Karitsa. Molotoy karitsa. And uh, three cloves. Cloves, cloves. Uh, you could also use star anise, you could use whole cinnamon, you could use five spice, but we're using what we've got. And what we've got is this. So, here we go. Okay, so I've got pan hot already, as you can see. I'm going to, I'm going to season the meat. Turn it over. So we're going to season both sides. Looks very beautiful. And you can see it's still got the bone in it and the marrow in the bone as well. This is like, mmm. It's like a delicacy. In fact, I think when we bought it in the supermarket, it actually said steak delicacy. That's how they labeled it. And uh, they, they spelt it wrong. It didn't say osobuco, it said oso. That was all. <laughs> okay, so. 
oil. Nice, wow. you can see the pan's wow. nice and hot. And then we're gonna just drop the ostrobuco in there. I think I can only do two at a time. Ooh. Turn the heat down a little Dark bit. It's very hot. Woo! Oh, it's dark, huh? yeah, It looks like Hell Kitchen, yeah, like we're in the hell. Adka kuchnya. So, nice color. Gonna turn it over. It was about two, three minutes, yeah? Yeah, not much more. And then just going to color the other side. Mm -hmm. So I'm just colored the last piece and I'm lifting that out now. I'm going to leave that there in the same pan while we've still got the heat. Mm -hmm. Onions, celery, celery, look, celery, I'm going to put the uh, ginger in there. Indeed. Do we need to put some oil there? It's already, no, it's already no. oil in there. And you can see we're still on quite a high flame. And we're just gonna color brown that off a little bit. So we've got a little color on the vegetables now. They've been in there, uh, I've been turning them. Um, they've been about five, six minutes. I'm going to add a spoon and a half of tomato paste. Give that a good stir. Now we're going to add uh, our cinnamon. The three uh, cloves that we've got. Give that a stir again. Okay, we're, not, we're just trying to cook the tomato paste a tiny little bit. I'm not too worried about cooking it out completely as it's going to cook during uh, uh, the process through the oven. At uh -huh. this point, I'm going to add our vinegar. Mm -hmm. Oh! Quite a lot. I'd say it's about 50 milliliters. But not 50 milliliters. Oh, I'm now going to add the chili. Chili. Uh huh. Okay, so the vinegar is cooked out. At this point, I'm just going to, I'm just going to stop the cooking. I'm going to add. Okay. I've got what? Two, three, four, five. I'm going to go with six spoons of sugar. Six six spoons of uh, soy sauce. And then I've got here some uh, fish sauce. Two spoons. Oh boy, the glass is very I've got the uh, old. Um, it's not old. Huh? It's not old. It's not fresh, it's wilting. Yes, it's like maybe teenager. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, and then I've got our stock. Okay, now I'm just going to bring that back to a boil. Okay, at this point, I'm just going to take a tray. I'm going to drop our osobuco, our shin, into the tray, all the juice and everything. Короче, это стейк гаражи. Они назвали гаражи, но Дэниел думает, что это скорее всего телятина, потому что сильно маленькая кость. Да? Да, это правда, это правда. 
Okay, and one second, I'm just going to clean this uh, space down a little bit. Okay, one second. So we've got our steaks uh, or our uh, osabuco beef shin in the tray. I've got the bouillon and the stock coming to the boil with all our lovely aromats in there. Yes. I've got it smells a, delicious. Now here I've got a piece of uh, tin foil, a roll of tin foil. Now what the idea is, is we need to cover the tray and make it airtight. So mm -hmm. I'm going to do three layers. One, three layers of tin foil. If you've got a pan with a lid, that you can put in the oven, you can use that as well. Unfortunately, this one's got Vinishka. this one's got uh, rubber handles, so uh, if we put it in the oven, they're going to be. So we don't really want to kill the pan Okay, so once that comes to a boil, we're just going to drop all of it on top of our steaks. Stock up to a boil. Uh, it doesn't need to come to a rolling boil, just a nice light boil. As you can see, the bubbles bubbling away there. Mm. All right, switch that off. Yeah, it's come to a boil, just a few minutes. Okay, so I'm going to dump all of that over here. Okay, ideally they need to be completely covered by the stock. So I'm just going to add a tiny little bit of water here. And then I'm going to take our layers of uh, cling film. Uh, sorry, tin foil. Cling film. Don't, <laughs> try not to use the uh, cling film. <laughs> you won't get the desired result. And then I'm just going to scrunch. And then on the other end, just pull it nice and tight. And then scrunch it under there like that. On the edges also. So the idea is to make it airtight, yeah, so that no, uh, none of the uh, moisture or the liquid escapes. В общем, суть в том, что не должен испаряться воздух для того, чтобы все ароматы сохранились полностью в этой капсуле еды и запаха. It's a very beautiful thing. <laughs> yeah. It's one of my favorite types of cooking, actually. Long low and slow cooking it, uh, it it delivers the best flavors and the best textures okay sure it takes time uh, actually a friend of mine was um, if you want to uh, cut the time down a friend of mine was uh, showing me, me his new toy the other day and he's bought a uh, like a, a pressure cooker now you can buy them from home they're relatively cheap and if you buy it buy these uh, pressure cookers we're going to start this with three hours okay mm -hmm. so if this takes three hours four hours if you cook it in a pressure cooker, it'll be about an hour and a half, so way quicker and yeah. delivers exactly the same result. Cool. Okay, so we're just going to try it in the oven. And then I'm going to set an alarm for three hours and then we'll come back and see where we're at. Hello boys and girls, welcome back. So our beef um, or osabuco, it's in the oven, still cooking. I've been there for right now about two and a half hours. We're gonna, mm. check. We're gonna check what that's doing in a minute. But right now, we need to get the rest of the stuff ready for the dish. So it's about three hours, yeah? It should be three hours. Right now, it's about two and a half, and we're gonna check it after three hours. So at this point, like uh, we're gonna cook rice, and like uh, get ready for our egg fried rice. So we've got rice again. I've got like, uh, okay, so basics. I've used this, it's like two cups of rice from this. So like rice to here, full in here. And I've got three of water in here. So I'm gonna light that up on full flame and bring it to a boil. And then once it comes to a boil, we're going to put the lid on, mm -hmm. turn the heat down, and cook for 15 minutes. We did this before. Come on, guys. you got to remember, right? And, and at, the what same, else do we have? at the same time, I'm going to... Oh, I've got some wine. Mm -hmm. Busted. Yeah, busted. Yeah. It's, it's getting late, guys. Come on. Like, I need to have a little wine. I don't know if you get wine uh, where you are, but we have here. So. Thank God. Cheers. <laughs> Thank God. Okay, so in the meantime... 
we're gonna like egg fried rice. Normally it's done by like, uh, after the rice is like finished not cooking. Not like right now. After the rice is finished cooking, you take the eggs and you break them in and I, but I don't really like the texture that it gives. So I'm gonna do something different. So I'm gonna take my eggs, so I've got four of them here. I'm gonna break them into the bowl. Okay, I know all of, you, all of you guys, you do it like this, don't you? And you, and you, and you break it like this, yeah? But here's another technique for you, yeah? Something for you to learn. So you hold the egg, like with two fingers here, and then crack it, and then just pull the two fingers apart. It's much easier and much quicker. Mm, wow. Duck. Much easier and much better. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so at this point, I'm gonna add a pinch of salt, or two. Whisk them up, one second. I'm going to use a small flame. I'm going to whisk them up. Yes, in bistra. I do it quickly, yeah? No, it's in bistra. It's a little video. Okay. So, our eggs whisked. Wash hands quickly. Can't be too careful. What about sanitizing? What about sanitizing? I don't have. Some, can you pass me a towel, please? Yeah, for sure. Thank you. Okay, so I'm just going to take. I've got a little bit of oil still left in the glass. I'm going to dip uh, our towel Which into oil? it. Which oil? Just regular oil. Olive? Ah, no. Flour. It's, uh, it's regular sunflower oil. Sunflower. Olive oil, or any olive oil, but sunflower. But sunflower. Okay, and then. So I'm just waiting for the correct temperature. I think it's about right. And then I'm just going to pour a little bit in and move it around. So it looks like pancakes from. Yeah, uh, kind of from just egg. from simple egg. Yeah, выглядит как блины из яйца. Okay, so we're looking for it to be like a little bit dry here. Right now, we're not right there. Давай, давай, быстро, быстро. Это не быстро вот это. Может быть лучше вот это. Maybe we should use the bigger. Uh, yeah, maybe. Okay, so that's been in the pan for like literally a minute. So then I'm just going to pull it away from the edge, and then turn it over. These are hot guys, by the way, yeah? I can use my hands, maybe you want to use a glove or something. But like... Okay, as you can see, yeah, cooked already. Pancake. And then we're just gonna continue. So it's about pancake from the egg. Yeah, and then we're just gonna continue to do that. Again, oil, and then egg again. I think we can make these ones a little bit thicker. Blinchiki is eat. Mm -hmm. No flour. No flour, no flour, just egg and salt. Alright, so rice coming to a boil. I'm going to cover that now. Turn the heat down. What about a minute? Uh, just until it comes to a boil. Fast, slow, it doesn't matter. Turn the heat down. Timer. 15 minutes. Off we go. And last pancake right now. Just ready to come out the pan. So I'm going to turn it over, give it a quick flick. Thank you for a minute. Wow, without Couple of seconds. Uh, without One, anything. two, three, four, and onto the rest of the pile, yeah? So now we're done. Don't forget to turn off the gas, waste not, whatnot. <laughs> yeah. Bills be expensive during quarantine, you know? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to take these, cut them in half. One second. All right. It looks like omelette. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty, pretty much is, but like egg fried rice pretty much is like uh, egg and rice. So, okay, so I'm just going to take a knife and just like cut these into nice wide strips. And we're going to add that into our rice later. We have a bunch of other tasty things as well. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, and then like, as you can see, hey, that's our egg in our egg fried rice. Cool, right? Yeah, very perfect. Okie dokie. 
uh, the three hour time limit is up. So we're just going to take our uh, Osabuka. Mm. I don't even know if we could call it. Oh my god, the smell is like wow. Okay, so we're going to take it out and have a look. See where we're at. После трех часов никто не знает, что там получилось, но ммм, запах. Try not to break the cling film because if it's not cooked, you want to like put that cling film, uh, put that tin foil back on, yeah? <laughs> oh. Oh, hot. Oh, 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 боже, как вкусно. Wait a second. Look at this amazing texture. Oh my oh. god. Mm. Okay. So we're nearly there, but we're going to go a little bit longer. Yeah? As you can see, the meat is starting to break down nicely. You can get a knife through it uh, or a spoon through it, but I think we need at least another like 45 minutes just to get it that like super, super like soft texture. Yeah? 45 minutes? Isha. To the oven? Yeah, another 45 minutes. Okay, so 45 minutes to the oven. Okay, so all right, our timer just went off, so I'm going to take it off the heat, turn the gas off, of mm. course, give it a little fluff. Oh, perfect rice. Add some salt. Uh huh. And then mix that in. How long? 15 minutes for rice. 15 minutes for rice. Give that a nice mix, and then put it back on. I'm just going to leave the lid off a little bit. Let me just taste. Yeah, mm, perfect. All right, so we're just going to leave that there to sit for now. For uh, how many minutes? Until we're ready to uh, eat everything else. So, like, the rice can sit there fine. Like, uh, rice is already ready, just leave it in that position. No problem. All right, so we're back again. So another 45 minutes, so like uh, our um, oxtail has had another 45 mm, minutes. Mm -hmm. What about flavors? Let's have a little look-see. It Ooh. just smells fucking... I'm sorry for my language. It's all right, you can swear. <laughs> it does smell fucking good. Ow! Yeah. Ooh. Watch out, because it's hot, man. Okay, oh so. my god, guys, look at this. Okay, so you can see like the meat is like absolutely tender. Okay, so we're going to remove all of that right now. One second, let me get a plate. So we're going to take all that meat out of there. Bone marrow. Meat. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, this is going to be so good. Alright, so we're going to take all of the meat out there. Carry on yeah, filming. Carry on filming, god. don't stop. No, I'm not stopping. How can I stop? I'm going to take it all out. Mm. As you can see, like, the meat is breaking up. A little bit of bone marrow in there. Cost вообще сама по себе. А мясо? Mmm. Mm-hmm. It's going to be tasty. As you can see, all pieces of meat, they started to break up, yeah? But that's all right, because it doesn't matter. Not important. We don't need whole pieces. So now I'm going to take the uh, leftovers of what's in the pan, and I'm going to drain it through this. Oh okay. my God, this smell. Then I'm going to push like uh, all the bits and pieces through. So we've got left like almost like nothing but the leftover vegetables in the pan. We don't really need that and we don't want it. It's not, there's no flavor in there anyway because we've uh, put all the flavor into the sauce. Gavrid Padovsky. Давай. Весь в итоге, спасибо, Кэп. Весь аромат в итоге остался в соусе, а нам абсолютно не нужны овощи, потому что овощи пустили весь сок. And this is going to be. также пустила весь сок, и нам как бы физически овощи не нужны. This is going to be for the rubbish, yeah? А это пойдет на мусорку. Yeah, sorry, one second, one. Да, nice one. Not bad, not bad. Okay. Okay. So what's next? So next, I'm going to take another pan, and I'm going to sieve it through a tea strainer. 
Процедить. As you can see, like uh, there's still a little bit of something left in the uh, sieta in the sieve, and uh, we're gonna just drop that back in there and bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. We don't need to keep it. Dabai uh -huh. no, We don't need to keep it. <laughs> and so you can see already we've got the consistency uh, of uh, sauce. Already not so bad. I'm gonna boil that for about three minutes, I think. And which, uh, okay. Na medlina malinka magnia. All right, guys. So I've literally just boiled it to a boil, yeah. And already you can see consistency. It's like pretty much sauce-like. So I'm just gonna take everything. How many that, minutes? Like one minute. Uh -huh. So I'm just going to take everything that we've cooked and drop it all back in and break it up a little bit as we go, yeah? With the bones. So, with bones, with everything. The bones, like, that's where the marrow is, the bone marrow. The costly mosque, yeah? Yeah, costly mosque. Yeah, I'm going to just drop all of that back into there. That's where all the flavour is, yeah? And I'm going to leave that there for like a couple minutes right now. Okay, I've got another pan on here. I'm gonna add a little bit of oil inside. Немножко здесь пару минут и сюда olive oil. Olive? No, it's just regular oil. А обычно подсолнечное масло. On high heat. We got our rice already rested and cooked. Рис уже отдохнул. So I'm gonna put. Yeah, I want to break this up a little bit. It's more like uh, a stew than anything else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do you say it in Russian? Stew. Stew. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, my vocabulary today is uh, sleeping. Это хуя. Даша, давай. Давай, что? Okay, so next, I'm just going to take uh, some of our rice. Сюда немножко риса. And stir fry. И поджари, да? Fried rice. Да, fried rice. I'm going to do some now, I'm going to do some later. Okay, so fried rice. A little salt. And then some of our egg noodles. Or egg, essentially. And that is pretty much it, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to turn the heat off on both. I'm going to add a little bit of uh, coriander into our rice. Pinzam. Лапша яичная была из яйца без муки. Абсолютно. Просто лапша из очень тоненьких блинчиков яичных. Окей, so I'm just going to take a plate. Пока что без ничего. А что будет потом? Tiny bit more. Немножко. So, a little mm -hmm. bit of the rice, egg fried rice. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh good. God, I'm sorry, it smells perfectly. And then we're going to add some of our... No butter, no oil on rice? Mm? No, nothing. Just oil. A little bit of our... Uh, how can we say? Asian cooked... Um, osobuko. A little bit messy. Some more sauce. Oh God, it smells and... It's just then I'm gonna add like uh, I got a little bit here. I've got a little bit of uh, raw chili, just to stick on there, and, and then like a little bit of uh, raw um, coriander. No chili, of course. And then one second, like uh, what about? Okay, so okay. we've got this right now. So we've been growing our own spring onions, and the look. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this, push all this to the side, and then, where is our chopping knife? Okay, so I'm going to just take a little bit, of, I'm going to chop the ends off, and then a little bit of 
green onion, sprinkle it over the top as well. Yeah. This is win, yeah? It's win. Don't worry about the sauce on the side. It's gonna taste fucking amazing. It smells fucking amazing. Yeah? Who is the winner? We are the winners. <laughs> Ciao till next time, yeah?